What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Trucker Style Show on YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching. Welcome. Just heading out right now. Going to get the uh, the old cab over. And uh, yeah. Booked a little power only run. Going to South Carolina. Now. It's going to be fun. But first I got to stop and grab me a new air valve. And uh, I'm kind of excited because I don't have to actually eat out this trip because uh, y'all see how I load up. This is some real world stuff right here. I got my Iceco G20 cooler. And uh, yeah, I got the fridge and the freezer both packed on that thing. So uh, I can eat pretty, uh, pretty good. Well, I'm out here running over the road, but uh, let's get to the video, you guys. Later. Oh, speed. Bump. What you know about rolling down in the deep? Down in the deep. Down in the deep. what uh, the wife and kids and myself did on my couple days off we went up to Universal and went to Mardi Gras got to use those annual passes before they run out finally and uh, yeah don't know if we're gonna re-up them next year so we got to use them now but check this out over here picking up this load and it's gonna be a container you guys an empty one but still a container so y'all can check that out but first I have a working fridge and I will show you all that very shortly because I'm loving this thing already yes they did send it to me for free for me to do a nice little review on but I already like it and it, it's definitely keeping temperatures of things really good. So I'll be back with y'all in a minute. All right, got the container. I'm gonna start my drive out through the night. Go drop this thing off in South Carolina. Then uh, who knows what other load we're gonna be getting. I don't. Gonna have to wait and see. All right, you guys, so made it over here to South Carolina dropping the container and I still got to find another load but yeah as it sits so far haven't picked up another load um, the valve up there turned out to be bad so I just completely removed it and uh, yeah, that is a tractor protection valve, but there is another one already on the uh, valve I just replaced, which is also a tractor protection valve. Let's see if I can't find that damn thing. There you go. So I pulled this thing off because it is the wrong style for this truck. So I just removed it. I'm running without one, but it is what it is cooler is doing amazing and uh yeah those lights inside make it so much easier when you're trying to find food at night so that's definitely a big plus let me double check make sure i actually pulled my trailer brake Ugh. i did so Sorry, it's been a long day, you guys. So, time to unhook this dang thing and, yeah. 
be about my way. See what tomorrow brings. Like I said earlier, as it sits right now, I still haven't found a load for tomorrow yet, or I should say today, but we will find something. And uh, yeah, today is technically Tuesday now. But I gotta be home probably Friday night because uh, kids have, all four of my kids have their last basketball games at the YMCA. So, can't miss that. Can't miss that. You know, you gotta do the family thing. My two littlest, they're quite excited. So, I don't know. I'm rambling at this point. I'm gonna uh, end up finding a truck stop, going and eating. Ugh. So yeah, I'll see y'all in a minute when I get back, get over to the truck stop after uh, dropping this load here at the port. All right, back to y'all in a minute. All right, you guys, just got parked for the night. About to have me a little snack before I go to bed. And hold on, let me flip the camera. You can see this better. This is my Ice Co G20. This is a temp gun. It shows the left side for the freezer side. It's reading five degrees. And the right side is at 33 degrees. Let's see how close these are. You see it has the light. It is awesome. You see this? Reading three degrees. And the freezer side. And it's reading forty degrees right now on this side. But where am I? Hmm. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're actually getting it off it. But it's down to 36 degrees on this side. So that is not bad. Let's see. Oh, wow. Holy crap. It actually... It froze my water. <laughs> it actually froze my water bottle. Dang, this thing is pretty cool. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description for one of these things. And uh, yeah, I've never had a, uh, a, a 12 volt fridge that uh, would actually freeze my uh, freezer water bottle. Dang. All right, well, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll update y'all tomorrow and let you know what load I'm getting so we can continue on in this journey. Like I said earlier, I gotta be home by Saturday, by Friday night to get to the kids' basketball games. It is officially Tuesday now, so let's, we're, we're gonna try our, my goal is six grand by the time I get home for the basketball game. So leaving out Monday, getting back Friday night, my goal is six grand. Let's see if we actually hit it, you guys. We'll see. What's up, you guys? Just chilling in the bunk back here. Oh, yep. I, uh, didn't record picking up this trailer last night just because it was raining but got us a JB Hunt trailer and uh, yeah we're gonna run two JB Hunt loads I booked at pretty good prices 
Um, let's see. Just in these three loads, I would say I'm uh, two thirds of my way there to uh, my weekly goal. Um, this one is just South Carolina to Georgia. The next one is Georgia to Georgia. A little, a little tiny puddle hop, but yeah, all in all, very good week so far. And then still got to get home, so that leaves the potential of possibly another 15, 1600 just to get back to the house. And yeah, that will uh, that will put us right at our goal. So all in all, good week, 6K five day, not bad. And I think that will do it for the rest of today's video. So. Real quick though, I do want to talk about one thing. I've done Amazon for so long now, right? And I've ran a business not leaving Florida for so long now. The local was good. It was consistent. And... You used to be able to make really good money. But the way things are going now, you guys, over the road or even just regional, probably the best way to go. Um, it took it took some very good friends to talk me out of, uh, to basically getting out of my comfort zone and going back and running over the road a little bit. And... Honestly, I ain't going to look back. It is some of the... It, I mean, what I'm making now over the road and still running power only, I'm making the same uh, running, say, about three days as I was the entire week, just staying local. And... With Amazon, I mean, I'm breaking my back. I'm stressed out all the time just because it's like, you got to go, got to go, got to go. Get there. You have to be on this time schedule. You have to be, you have to rush for everything. I forgot how peaceful it was over the road and how much, how less stressful it really was hauling freight and being able to go run and not having to rush all the time, having time to actually stop grab something to eat if you need to or just relax a little bit and making my own schedule again and it not being rush all the time so that's just something to consider something to think about you guys it's if you're coming into this industry and you want to go local go for it if that's what you want to do but I am really enjoying the slower pace and higher paying. Yeah, I'm sacrificing some time at home. But at the same time, I can run Monday through Friday and be back on the weekend if I want to. And make more than I was just running local. And for a while there, I was running the solo twos back to back. So I really wasn't being home very often. I was still running everything, be home for a couple hours, and then having to leave back out. And doing it this way, I mean, I'm taking consistent days off, doing stuff with the family, and actually making it work a lot easier than previously running just local. Now, it's just food for thought. Um, just wanted to put that out there. That being said, y'all have a wonderful day. Like, comment, subscribe. Take it easy. Keep the rubber side down, y'all. Later. And do not forget to go grab you an Iceco G20 or another one of the Iceco products, either on Amazon or over at Iceco.com, or I'm sorry, IcecoFreezer.com, or wherever else they might be sold. And big thank you to y'all. This thing has really came in handy, especially going back over the road. So go pick y'all up one and yeah, enjoy it. I sure as hell have.